What is PM 2.5 and why should you care? Hi everyone, welcome back to Every Day, I Wonder. Today, we're talking about something that affects the air we breathe every single day, but is often invisible to the naked eye, PM 2.5. What is it? Where does it come from? And why is it such a big deal? Let's dive in. What is PM 2.5? PM 2.5 stands for particulate matter, that is 2.5 micrometers, or smaller in diameter. These particles are incredibly tiny, making them invisible to the naked eye. To give you some perspective, a human hair is about 70 micrometers thick, meaning PM 2.5 is roughly 30 times smaller. Particulate matter varies in size, with larger particles, like PM 10, being visible as dust or soot while smaller particles, like PM 2.5, can remain suspended in the air for long periods, blending seamlessly with the atmosphere. Their microscopic size allows them to penetrate deep into the body's respiratory system, posing significant health risks. Because of their tiny size, these particles can easily bypass our body's natural defenses. Once inhaled, PM 2.5 particles travel deep into the lungs, where they can penetrate the alveoli, tiny air sacs responsible for oxygen exchange. From there, these particles can cross into the bloodstream, often carried by immune cells like macrophages or via direct diffusion. Once in the bloodstream, PM 2.5 particles can circulate throughout the body, potentially causing inflammation and contributing to cardiovascular and systemic health issues. Where does PM 2.5 come from? PM. 2.5 is a mix of tiny particles and liquid droplets in the air. It comes from both natural and human-made sources. Human-made sources, contributions, vehicle exhaust, cars, trucks, motorcycles, 25 to 30%. Industrial emissions from factories and power plants, 20 to 25%. Burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas, 20 to 30%. Open burning of agricultural waste, forests, or garbage, 15 to 20 percent. Natural sources, contributions, forest fires, highly variable but can contribute significantly during wildfire seasons. Dust storms, regional and seasonal impact, volcanic eruptions, rare but impactful on a local to global scale. Once released, PM 2.5 can linger in the air for a long time and travel far from its original source. Why is PM 2.5 dangerous? The size of PM 2.5 makes it particularly harmful to human health. Here's why. Respiratory issues. PM 2.5 can penetrate deep into the lungs, causing inflammation and reducing lung function. Long-term exposure can lead to conditions like asthma, bronchitis, and even lung cancer. Cardiovascular problems. Once in the bloodstream, PM 2.5 can increase the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and high blood pressure. Premature deaths. Studies link PM 2.5. Exposure to millions of premature deaths worldwide every year. Harm to vulnerable groups. Children, the elderly, and individuals with pre-existing conditions are particularly at risk. Environmental impact. P. M. 2.5 contributes to haze and reduces visibility. It can also harm ecosystems by settling on soil and water, changing their chemical balance. How is PM 2.5 measured? P. M 2.5 levels are measured in micrograms per cubic meter of air, mu g per m cubed. Air quality is often classified as good, 0 to 12 micrograms per cubic meter. Air is clean and safe to breathe. Moderate, 13 to 35 micrograms per cubic meter. Air quality is acceptable, but might pose risks for sensitive groups. Unhealthy, 36 to 55 micrograms per cubic meter. Everyone may begin to experience health effects. Very unhealthy, 56 to 150 micrograms per cubic meter. Health warnings of emergency conditions. Hazardous, greater than 150 micrograms per cubic meter. Serious health effects for everyone. 
How can you protect yourself from PM 2.5? Monitor air quality. Use apps or websites to check PM 2.5 levels in your area. Stay indoors. Limit outdoor activities, especially during high PM 2.5 days. Use air purifiers. Invest in an air purifier with a HEPA filter to reduce indoor pollution. Wear masks. Use N95 or higher rated masks when going outside to filter out fine particles. Plant trees. Trees and green spaces can help absorb particulate matter and improve air quality over time. Advocate for change. Support policies that reduce pollution, such as stricter vehicle emission standards or renewable energy initiatives. Conclusion. PM 2.5 may be invisible, but its impact on health and the environment is anything but small. By understanding what it is and taking steps to reduce exposure, we can protect ourselves and contribute to cleaner air for everyone. Thanks for watching every day. I wonder. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more everyday science that matters. See you next time.